Good morning, Caroline Clark, Posture Alignment Specialist. Today you are going to be your own detective. We are going to suss out what is going on with your hips and your legs. If you're finding any discomfort in your hips, why are you finding the discomfort? And we're just going to suss out what your legs are doing. Now I have got trousers on with, I'm not showing my knees, so that's actually not so good for this video, but we're just going to have a look. Right, so to start with, if you're sitting with your legs out in front of you and just rest and see what your legs do. All right, so my little foot on the left hand side wants to turn in slightly and my foot on the right, yeah, it's turning in a little bit. So I know that my ankle is a little bit naughty on that side. And also I can, I'm looking at what my kneecaps are doing. All right, so just don't move your legs, keep your legs still and just feel the knee, kneecap. Now this kneecap here is pointing up like that. So that's showing me that this hip is internally rotating, all right? So it means it's in slightly. So I need to make it go out slightly. All right, also I can see that my foot goes in slightly as well. So I want to keep that straight. This one, perfect knee, straight to the ceiling. So this leg is not disobedient. This leg is my disobedient leg. And this is actually my hip that if I'm gonna get any sort of um, discomfort in it, it's gonna be in this hip. So what do I do about it? Right, so I've got what's known as an internally rotating femur on this side. Now, if you were to be here and you were seeing your feet going out like that, and your knees, if your feet are going out, mean your kneecaps are pointing up like that. So they are now externally rotating femurs or they're pointing out. So if they're pointing outwards, you need a cushion here so that as you squeeze, oh my goodness, they come back in again, all right? So now the next thing you can do with this is you can, if your feet are pointing out as well and you feel that your ankles are pointing out, then put a belt around your ankles. So your belt will go, oh, by the way, you need equipment wise, you need a belt and a, a cushion or a block. So you need your feet to be a hips width apart. So that is just slightly wider than my fist. And I want to be able to get this between my knees at the same time. So can you see that is really pulling my legs into alignment. So that is if you've got your kneecaps pointing outwards. Now I know that this kneecap points inwards. So I'm not gonna do that way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the belt around my knees and I'm going to put the cushion between my ankles and I'm going to keep my feet really upright. So you want to do this so that when you lie back down you can actually squeeze and pull at the same time and that is going to start asking this one to turn out. Now I know this one is straight but I also know that my knees do um, my, my legs do come in very slightly, what's called vulgar sneeze, which sounds horrendous. So I'm doing it this way, then I'm gonna show you the other way as well. So I'm lying on my back, lying flat out on my back. Again, if you find that that's too hard and it's you're, you're a little bit like this with your neck, then just put a little cushion under the neck to support yourself. So just get yourself comfy, see what you feel like, arms out at about 20 past eight. Feet flexed towards the ceiling. Now all I'm going to do is I'm gonna squeeze with the ankle, uh, yes, yeah, squeeze with the ankles, pull with the knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'm relaxing. Now I don't want my bum muscles to get too involved in this, so a really good way to just stop those bum muscles getting involved is to just pull and hold for a minute. So now um, I need to just do my band up slightly tighter. Right, so now I'm pulling and squeezing. And as I'm doing that, I can then just relax my body and relax my bum. And then I can feel these muscles here really working. So just letting the body just relax into what you're asking it to do, which is actually squeezing in with the ankles and pulling out with the knees. Now, because my block is a hips width apart, it's about four inches wide, my, ankle, my feet are never gonna go inwards to being very narrow 
narrow. This is going to keep my whole leg in a better alignment. So it's asking this kneecap to come out slightly. So we're holding it. I'm relaxing my bum. All right, so when a minute's up, you just release again. Put your hand, your thumbs where your thigh meets your body and let the hand spread out sideways. And now just pull and release. One, can you feel those big muscles working? Two, is one side working better than the other? Three, four, now they're getting really even. Five, if you cramp, it just means that that, that hip bone's a little bit stuck. Six, seven, so if you, I'll tell you what to do, eight, nine, 10. If you feel you're cramping on this bone, you don't want the muscle memory to stay, oh, let's cramp and let's stay cramping. Cause when you're cramping, it means the bone's just a little bit stuck. So what you need to do is come up like this, give yourself a little pelvic tilt, and then just do a couple like that. So pulling, squeezing, and then go back down and again, try it again. Right, we're now just going to do the other way, which isn't my, my true way of doing it. But actually, I also find that sometimes if, the, um, if, you're, if you've got a very big internally rotating femur, that's the way it wants to go. So if you find it too much to put the belt around the knees, then put the cushion between the ankles because no matter what you do, when you're squeezing, you're going to get a slight rotation within that hip bone. So that might be your way of starting if you find it too discomfort to actually have that belt to start with around the knees. So I've got the belt around my ankles, cushion between my knees. I'm lying back down again. I'm flexing those feet to me. So now I'm pulling out and squeezing in. Now this actually hurts my hip too. So maybe it needs to do this. Three, I can feel slight cramping. Four, so actually probably doing it both ways is a really good idea. Five, six, don't let those calves come off the ground. Seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, so now hold and pull. All right, so I'm pulling out and I'm holding in. And I'm actually finding this more discomfort than the other one. I can file it slightly into my the back on this side. And I'm feeling that this hip is now really engaging. Oh, I can feel it on the outside as well. Relaxing my bum. It's really interesting to start listening to your body and seeing what your body's actually up to. So just holding it and then release. Now put your thumbs, hands out, and pull release. One, two, so I can feel loads of muscles getting involved. Three, four, and I can actually feel this side tiring. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, so then that is the exercise. Now you can get up and have a walk around now and that's a really good idea just to see what your body's saying. And you'll probably find that walking is a little bit easier after that. So my exercise today is detective, find out what your hips are up to. And don't forget my book is coming out. I'm so excited. Second week of July, it will be out. So you can go to my uh, website and you'll see it there. My website will be above my head at the moment, but it's going to be a reference book of go to sort out. And it's going to be very, very easy. Listen, I'm dyslexic. There is no way it's going to be a complicated book. All right. So look forward to seeing you at my next video and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.